Welcome guys, I got a presentation of apples, tomatoes and Polish strawberries. Hello YouTube! Welcome to my granddad's flat garden. I got a nice haircut, it's really a bit edgy but it's like really hot so when else am I gonna do it? Every country you go to has like a speciality like they just kill a certain food or a certain type of like ingredient and here number one it's strawberries are the best number two apples are fantastic and tomatoes is number three and if you come to Poland if you don't eat that then you're missing out and by the way strawberries they're only in season here which speaks a lot apples they're made for how they taste like they used to be tomatoes tomatoes they have like these really meaty kind of ham tomatoes i mean i'm talking about this because i used to have my own allotment i legitly was growing vegetables like for my whole teenage years into my early 20s there's a big difference in the quality of the fruit and then with that comes extra nutrients flavor pleasure eating it let's go shopping but I need to go find my granddad. I said I'd be five minutes, but like, I always love talking, so. I think he's already in town, doing his thing. So let's speed it up. Dedek, powiedz dzień dobry, do kamery. Powiedz dzień dobry. Nie rozumiesz. Ja jestem dorosły. I teraz co to robię? Mmm, tasty. Stawki w Polsce są najlepsze, bo są. No bo są najlepsze. A to pani na już Tak. Strawberries in Poland, they just a lot more red. In the UK you get like strawberry which is like are really pink and there's a lot of kind of white going into like the body of the strawberry, but here if you look you know, like, this is just a, like a standard one. So much more delicious and so much just sweet. I always just call it, they're just full of water. I mean, if you come to Poland, you have to hit some strawberries. I even researched with like innocent smoothies. They even source their, their strawberries, not from Spain, but from Poland. And there's a reason for that. Okay, next one. These are Malinove Pomidore. They're like the standard tomato. If you look, they're very, very red. The skin is very soft, very thin, and it just kind of just melts away almost. These are Gargamel. They're a bit more kind of like crazy looking and are very meaty. My dad used to always say, it's like when you slice them, you can slice a long thin slice, just like ham, put it in your sandwich and it, it's just the same effect. I'm gonna cut it right now to show you. Look at that. Usually you add a bit of salt, kind of brings the flavor out a bit more, but. Tomatoes back in England, they're just so like acidic and sour, I and mean, they should be a bit acidic, but they should also be like flavorsome so you can eat them by themselves. memories coming back you know from childhood it's just so much meat like when you eat like an English tomato the water like from inside just goes everywhere over you but here there's so much like flesh it keeps all the like the juice the water and there's something to eat like <laughs> you can eat it by itself which you can't do always there's the gargamel well I like the malinove it's slightly more ripe Top. And apples, you know, Poland is the top producer of apples in Europe and the fifth in the whole world. Yeah, you'd be surprised. The Polish apples produced a bit more traditionally, so they don't have wax. Apples, a bit more kind of old school. You get really nice big ones, very sweet. They're usually a bit softer. Having my own allotment, it really reminds me of what you can grow for yourself as opposed to commercially mass produced volume. Remember, when you visit Poland, there's more than just vodka, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna just show you like how some of the tomatoes grow and just... The smell like of the leaves is just 
is unique. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Hit like, subscribe, comment, and just let me know what you think. Peace out. Please don't be coming to Poland as a tourist or to visit and like have a dirty kebab.